In this interwebs age, it's become increasingly difficult for wrestling promotions to surprise us anymore. Shock heel turns or big debuts will often be reported before they happen, or speculated on so much that it undermines the eventual surprise. And it certainly doesn't help when wrestling promotions just accidentally leak the news all by themselves. 2K's new WWE game, Battleground, aka 2K20 was so bad we temporarily paused the series, will be fully released later this week which means that they've already sent out review copies to some Twitch streamers like New Legacy Inc, who showed this Royal Rumble loading screen. Pretty standard stuff, showing you the rules of the match, the controls to use, how to eliminate opponents, how often new wrestlers will enter, and how to win with a picture of Tessa Blanchard, arguably one of the hottest free agents in all of wrestling right now. The game rendering is quite clearly based off this photo of Tessa in Impact, the promotion she left in April this year while holding the company's top title. Not the women's title, I'm talking about their world championship. That's how good she is, Impact booked her to beat Sammy Callahan for the belt. While Tessa's father, Tully Blanchard, is signed with AEW, currently managing FTR, and she herself wrestled in the promotion's prologue pay-per-view All In back in 2018, she was accused of racism and backstage bullying at the start of this year and it's speculated AEW might want to avoid that controversy. WWE have no such problems. Sometimes it comes in handy lacking any basic sense of morality, and it's been heavily reported that's where she's expected to go. The battleground image could just be a lazy artist Google searching women wrestlers, downloading the Tessa picture, and tracing over that. But surely even 2K aren't that complacent. Again. WWE licensees like Mattel and 2K are often told about plans and debuts long before they actually happen, as such a long lead-in time is required for them to make the eventual release up to date. Although don't completely rule out the lazy artist theory, as the person who originally took that Tessa picture, a photographer by the name of Basil Mahmud, has angrily tweeted, Hey WWE Games, you want to tell me why you took my photo without my permission to use it in your game? Do you think the battleground loading screen means Tessa to WWE confirmed? Let me know in the comments where I'll be replying to people from out of nowhere. If Blanchard really is on her way to WWE, she better bust out the blusher. Because according to a new interview with Renee Young, Vince McMahon only likes talking to women wearing makeup. Recalling the first time she met McMahon in an interview with Sunday Night's main event podcast, Young remembered that she turned up backstage at a show without makeup on because she was about to go to makeup. But that apparently isn't good enough if you don't have a penis. They said Vince should not see you without makeup on. You should be fully done. It was very weird. When it's safe. Maybe that's why he's so high on yet another WWE star backstage. Who's that Pokemon? But first, now before we get on with the rest of the news, I'd like to say a big thank you to this episode's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. I don't know about you, but I've completed Netflix. I'm up to date with Amazon Prime, and my lady partner won't let me rewatch the X-Men 90s cartoon series in full for the ninth time in a row. But I like it when they go to space. Enter Surfshark VPN an app or web extension that lets you place your phone, laptop, or tablet anywhere in the world, giving you access to their previously geo-blocked content libraries. With Surfshark, if you're in the UK, you can now access the much better Netflix US library. Or if you're in the US, with Surfshark, you can watch the UK-only BBC iPlayer. Or if you're me, I can re-watch the X-Men 90s cartoon series in full for the ninth time in a row. But this time, Disney Plus thinks I'm doing it from the US. Yes. Loophole in your face, lady partner! I also just finished Justice League's Dark Side War thanks to DC Unlimited, which isn't available in the UK! Get yourself Surfshark VPN using our special links below to access an entire world of content. And make sure to use our promo code WRESTLETALK because that gets you a massive 83% off and three months free, meaning two whole years will only cost you under $60. Surfshark are really helping support us here at WrestleTalk, so Mr. Davis commands you, click the link below and check them out. Now back to our scheduled programming. Who's that Pokemon? It's Selena Vega. 
Vega. It's, it's Selena Vega. Possibly revealing why Vega broke away from Andrade and Angel Garza to start a singles push against Asuka for the Raw Women's title this week, Zelina herself has revealed on Devon Dudley's Table Talk podcast, Vince would always say, you are one of my favourites. You are one of the reasons I watch Raw and I love your character. It was such an honour to hear that. He said, you remind me of Stephanie because she is always working out there and you are a machine. I give it three weeks. And if that doesn't work out for Vega, why drop down to Raw Underground fights when you can do the real deal in AEW? Fightful Select is reporting that the Thunder Rosa vs Ivelisse match on Wednesday's Dynamite actually turned into a shoot at one point. According to Sean Ross Sapp, Rosa felt as though Ivelisse was no selling a few of her spots, as she is very protective of how the NWA women's title appears, which was on the line, she worked a lot stiffer. Apparently the two didn't appear to be getting on even before the match started, and it's been speculated the TV version was edited as it was actually filmed last Thursday. While some backstage support Rosa protecting the championship, Fightful notes many became uncomfortable as the match continued, with one wrestler being surprised that the promotion is still going ahead with the Rosa and Shida match teaming against Ivelisse and Diamante on next week's show. Earlier this week, the very reliable WrestleVotes tweeted, a certain WWE talent has decided not to re-sign with the company once their current deal expires. This prompted speculation and mania to run wild, with names like Mustafa Ali and Chad Gable being thrown around. Then Rovert, who does have a patchy track record, tweeted the report is actually about Ricochet, who signed in January 2018 on a three-year deal which will expire this coming January, adding absolutely no one is surprised. Apart from Ricochet himself. The former crown jewel WWE Championship contender that is genuinely so painful to say posted, where the hell did these rumours start? I've never said once that I am leaving to anyone. So for these dirt sheets out there, maybe facts check before you just blast some trash on your website for some clicks. Which is a shame because he totally should leave. With AEW seemingly losing out on Ricochet, they can instead take comfort in those sweet, sweet 18 to 49 demos. Wednesday's episode of Dynamite drew 886,000 viewers, with Tony Khan tweeting that made them number one on cable in several key demographics. While this was down from last week's 1 million plus figure, that's because they ran unopposed with NXT on Super Tuesday last week. Losing just over 100,000 viewers with competition from NXT has got to be considered a big win. NXT itself suffered a similar drop, drawing just under 700,000 viewers down from the previous Tuesday's 838. It proves yet again that the best thing for the wrestling industry is NXT and AEW running on different nights. But sometimes a star comes along so big that they transcend Wednesday night battles. They break out of the wrestling bubble and into the mainstream. All hail the ratings draw, Stone Cold Trent's mum. This week's Dynamite wasn't just being evented by one of the best street fights of all time between the best friends and Santana and Ortiz. The finish of the show saw Trent's mum pick up the winning team in her car and drive off while flipping the bird. And she's truly living the gimmick. As referee Bryce Remsberg has revealed, Trent's mum brought the locker room cookies and brownies. Speaking on the AEW Unrestricted podcast, Trent revealed how his mum main eventing Dynamite came about. After seeing so many other wrestlers drive cars to the ring like FTR and Cody, as a joke, I think I said it would be funny if my mum dropped us off in a van. She was really excited about it. She loves doing stuff like that. She's a little mark for herself. And to cap off a hell of a few days, Trent's mum is being interviewed by Sean Ross Sapp on Fightful Select at noon EST today. Trent, no, watch out. You gotta keep your mum away from Sean. In something that I'm sure is in no way connected, WWE have announced that tonight's SmackDown will also have a street fight. A Samoan one, with Roman Reigns and Jey Uso teaming against Sheamus and King Corbin. King Corbin's mum's totally gonna get involved. 
WrestleVotes has tweeted an interesting rejected idea for Kofi Kingston's return that would have seen him transfer to the Raw brand while Big E remained on SmackDown, with Xavier Woods in a managerial role for both of them. The New Day would still exist, matching outfits and all, but exist across both brands. I guess that's the same rule Sami Zayn used to appear on both Raw and SmackDown when he was a manager that one week. What are the rules? In an update to Matt Riddle's ongoing dispute with his accuser Candy Cartwright, he has now filed for a civil lawsuit for continued false and defamatory statements that he sexually assaulted her, in place of the recently dropped restraining order. 2020 has been a long year, and up until now, I, Mr. Davis, haven't had any real time off. I'm carrying this company on my back! So I'm going to have an actual week off where I can watch the 90s X-Men cartoon series again. Thank you, Surfshark. And thankfully, I've also found the perfect person to be in charge while I'm gone. Yes, I'm going to introduce my own video package. Unfortunately, thanks to losing it all out, Luke Owen uh, has been terminated by Mr. Davis. So we scoured uh, high and low for a, a replacement for him. And we found someone. It's only bloody Mr. Wrestle Talk. I like this guy. I feel like I've got a connection with this guy. Like I've known him for years. Mr. Wrestle Talk made his debut on last night's Quizzlemania, only went and won the bloody thing. Just a quick one, though. Mm. You do know that that's Luke, right? On Thursday, we Which do want, a yeah. Luke, a Luke detector test. If you fail it, you will be Luke. Mr. Davis will see it, and we can be best friends again, okay? I will prove to you, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that I am not Luke Owen. Who is Mr. Davis's? best friend mr wrestle talk wait 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 wait, wait. <laughs> there just, it I is didn't... no it can... no Absolutely. that's nailed it i'll take i'll do the test okay i am mr davis's best friend oh there's some connection issues for p oh you know what you passed the loop detector test i'm having a well-earned break next week i'm gonna put you in charge of the entire company. And to that I say, yes please, I would very much like to do that role. Hey Chopper, oh. give Mr. Wrestle Talker a yes please. He's gonna be your yeah. boss for a week. That's right. Yes please, I am your boss. That's all we've got time for, folks. Bye. Bye. Mr. Wrestle Talk will make his Wrestle Talk news debut next week, which will conclude with our Clash of Champions live stream. And that's not all, we'll also be streaming reactions to New Japan's epic G1 tournament that starts tomorrow on Wrestle 2. Press the button on screen now to subscribe there and watch that stupid Luke Owen review the new Bill and Ted movie on Cineworld by clicking the video on the right. Click the link below to check out Surfshark VPN as it really does help us out and they're a great service. I've been Mr. Davis, your jam that champion forever. Totally not going anywhere.